Depot on Instagram, and we're live on, on Facebook. Facebook. It's bonkers. Don't tell Facebook. We're doing uh, both at the same uh, time. Uh, well, hey, Facebook owns both. Yeah, yeah, Facebook, well, you own Instagram, we're still so you really day. can't be upset at us. It also, one is from Lindsay's phone and one is from Facebook my computer. I think Facebook can be mad about anything they want to be. Well, I think don't that's be. What well, don't be mad. Just Facebook. stop. Stop don't being be mad. mad. Um, hey, everybody. Hey, hi. So, Lindsay uh, G. Uh, I am Lindsay G. I am the editor and co-founder of Anishi Press. And I'm JL Draco. I'm an art wizard. Cool. What's yeah. it like being an art wizard, J.L. Draco? The vast yeah. amount of skill and inspiration inside of my head all the time is crippling. Do you ever feel like just vomiting color everywhere? No, just black and white. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, uh, so, yeah. uh, hey. What? There's an elephant in this room that we need to talk about. Uh, A I'm tiny, gonna... tiny elephant? It's kind of it's kind of a big one actually, um, but uh, we thought that probably we should talk about it with you folks. So um, anyone who is out there and watching, um, you may be aware that JL and I, together as Oneshi Press, or I mean Lindsay and I, um, together as Oneshi Press, are doing a Kickstarter right now. <clears throat> um, we are I looking heard about this. We're looking to raise funds for two different comics collections that we have put together. Um, Mr. Guy, comic, comic hunter. <laughs> Mr. Guy, zombie hunter, um, is one that JL wrote and is being illustrated by four different artists along with cover artists and guest artists. Um, and then the Origins Anthology is the 10th in our anthology series, um, combining the work of well over two dozen amazing, diverse creators from all over the place. Um, right, and uh, Mr. Guy, that's that's our IP, we own it, so that's all work for hire. So we're paying those people, um, we've paid them up front, and we still have to pay for production of the book, and there's a lot of, a lot of paying going on, a lot of supporting right. people, a lot of helping people get their work out there. Yeah. Um, the anthology is creator-owned, so we're actually, kind of providing a platform for all of the creators on the anthology. Um, and we are doing the printing, we're putting the book together, we're taking care of all of that, and they get copies that they can then sell. Um, yeah. And so it's a co-op model thing, but we're still, you know, we feel proud of it. We're helping a lot of people get their important stories out into the world. Um, we have creators from diverse backgrounds from all over the world who, who really, I mean, this is their voice and we're helping their voice be heard. Um, but there's still this freaking elephant. You want to talk about the elephant? Let's talk about the elephant. All right. So the elephant is global pandemic and fundraising for art during global pandemic. And the economic crisis that comes with it. Yeah. So. It's a whole thing. Yeah. It could seem kind of tacky. Like we know there's a lot of you out there who definitely are not in a position where you can give someone 20 bucks, even if it's going to mean you get great entertainment out of it, you get great art out of it, you're supporting artists, you're helping people get their voices heard, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks and you can't afford that. And we get it. We get that. We get it. Um, there's a reason that we're not just reaching into our gigantic bank account to print all these things. There's I mean, we are, but we're that. also asking for, for some help doing it. So the thing is with this Kickstarter, I mean, it is not by any stretch of the imagination us asking for handouts. for handouts or donations. This is pre-sales that are funding the creation of the book. So you're buying entertainment, which helps keep you home and helps keep you safe. You're buying art that has just is loaded with just so much care, meaning spirit catharsis i mean it's all the funny good stuff. it's good you know <laughs> but um also like like we said we know a lot of you can't afford to be helping right now but you actually can you can really afford to be super super supportive and helpful um yeah. just Help by doesn't equal money necessarily. telling people about it or like when we post about it comment on the post say what you like about it even yeah. if you can't back it even if you don't have the money to back it just say Hey, you know what? I really like this part about Mr. Guy, blah, blah, blah. Or, or I really like, like this part about the anthology. I or, like hey, this art right here. It's so cool that you guys are doing this. One comment means 
probably a couple dozen other people are now going to see that post. Right. For every person that comments. Algorithms on the internet make a huge difference in who gets to see the yeah. stuff that we are making. Um, so anytime that you comment or otherwise interact with something that we've posted about the Kickstarter, it tells the algorithm, hey, people like this. Mm -hmm. Let's show it to more people because more people will like it. Right. So, you know, help doesn't necessarily equal money. We get it that not everybody can pledge right now. We get it that a lot of people are, you know, in dire financial straits. Um, so sharing with comments, just commenting, liking, just, you know, interacting in any way that you can with the material that we're putting on the internet helps us huge. And so here's the cool thing about that. You helping us with this, right? You commenting on it, liking it, sharing it, whatever you can do. You know, you helping us with that, you're helping, you're helping us and we're helping these other people who are putting their right. important diverse stories out into the world to help other people. So you're helping us help helpful people. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's like ideal, right? That kind of, of that kind of interaction, that kind of support where you're helping, helping helpers, you know, you're helping helpful people help helpful people, right? That's awesome. I mean, what, what could be better than that? And so, okay, what's in it for you if you're just sharing it and helping other people see it? Well, then that means oh. that these books will actually be created. They'll be at the very least PDFs that later on down the road, you could buy for a few bucks, yeah. you know? Um, um, we have a question. Um, oh, Wendy. Oh, hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi. Thank you for watching. Um, we're just talking about the Kickstarter. Um, she says, how do I pledge? Um, so basically, if you go to kickstarter.com. I could drop a link also. And type in Mr. Guy. The campaign is probably the only thing that will come up yeah, under Mr. Guy. Probably. And we'll also drop a link in here. Um, and, you know, like, like we said, um, we get that, you know, times are tough financially for people. So, um, you know, just sharing that link or, heck, you know, like fucking talking about it with somebody on the phone. Like any of these things are super helpful to us. Um, but yeah, we also we also wanted to talk about the fact that like we are we are working to support the work of it's like 37, 35 or 37 people who collaboratively have helped us make these books. Um, it's a lot of people and many of them are full-time freelancers or artists or writers. Um, and many of them maybe didn't used to be full-time, but are now uh, due to the sort of gigantic elephant in the room situation that we have going on. Um, so if you are able to pledge um, any money to the campaign to help us reach our goal, that is helping not just us, it's not just the two of us. Um, we are looking to work with all of these people and all of the work for both of the books is already finished so that means that all of the people who are involved in making these books already did the work and what we are trying to do is support them um you know financially and by providing them with print copies of books that contain their gorgeous work that they already poured their hearts and souls into so and also a lot of these people i mean the cool thing about the co-op model is a we're helping get all of these different creators exposed to each other's audiences so they can all extend their reach through our efforts. But also like some of these people are gonna be like, yes, I've been in this anthology, this anthology, this anthology, when they walk in on a job interview at a studio and they're gonna show this to people. This is also part of their CV and their resume for the rest of their life, you know? And we know that, and it's really hard to get your foot in the door. So we're we're trying to extend that to other people as well. And you know? their work is really good. We, it's so good. <laughs> we really, um, we've been, we've been just knocking it out of the ballpark with the submissions we've been getting. I mean, I'm, I'm blown away by yeah. some of the work that's in this anthology, yeah, as I'm, well as in Mr. Guy. I mean, we got, the lineup is just amazing. Um, Walter Osley did our two, uh, Diana Camaro did arc three and JC, uh, JC Chase did arc four and there, they just came out stunning. I'm blown away. It's so much fun. I know that anybody who reads Mr. Guy, even if you think like you don't really get it or know what it's about, if you really read it, you're going to have a good time. You're going to enjoy it. It's entertaining. Yeah. And it's also there. like, it's kind of 
one of the, it's just maybe a smaller elephant in the room. <laughs> um, but the fact that we're raising funds for a book about a zombie outbreak during a global pandemic, it's like, it's, it, some people probably think it's awesome. And some people are probably like, oh, perhaps that's in poor taste. But um, we personally think that Mr. Guy is hilarious. Um, and we think it's kind of important actually to like be able to laugh a little bit about that kind of fiction right now because you know we can all we can all use a lot of laughs. And there's also it's not just the levity aspect, but I mean there's something really important about Mr. Guy, and that's to save himself, he may just have to save us all. And he's a very self-interested character. He is a selfish Mr. Guy. And <laughs> the only way he can save himself from this pandemic in his cartoon world is to save us all to figure out how to stop the spread of this pandemic right so like there's something about that that really you know mirrors um, what we're going through as a species right now collectively uh, this idea that you know like looking out for other people's best interest is self-serving you know, like you can't actually be selfish right now, because if you're selfish, you're self-defeating yourself. Like you're defeating yourself by being selfish. You know, that's but, the world we wait, literally so have been handed right now. If you if you are selfish right now, you're self-defeating yourself. But if you help the Kickstarter, then you're helping us help helpful people. We, sh wow, we could make some serious tongue twisters out of all this. Uh, <laughs> you lost me. I lost us. We, we, We're lost. We've, we've been lost. <laughs> um, but... Uh, Safari so said to say, um, we are really grateful for the support that we've gotten already. Um, yeah. We're so stoked that so many people have been spreading the word about this. We've got a long way to go on this campaign and not much time to do it. We've got two, two weeks, weeks left. Campaign is halfway over and we still have 75% of our funds that we need to raise. So oh, that's a little scary, but... Here's the thing that not everybody knows about Kickstarter. If you don't reach your goal on if, Kickstarter, if you, we do, don't reach our goal, you don't get anything. We so don't get anything. Your if money we goes. only raise 25% of our goal, we don't walk away with 25% of our goal. Right. We walk away with nothing. Um, and that leaves us in a whole big quandary about what to do next and what to do with all of these amazing comics that we have that we don't have the money to print. So backers, your cards are not charged unless we make our full goal. Right. So there's no risk to you. Like we won't get partial funding and then not be able to complete our project. Your card only gets charged after we've made our goal and succeeded. And if we don't succeed, your card doesn't get charged. So that, yeah. That's that's a cool uh, safeguard that Kickstarter includes. Yeah, but it makes the stakes way higher for high, us. High stakes right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we just I mean we want, we wanted to talk about all of this because it's the kind of thing where like, you know, when you're writing like marketing copy and like promotional materials, you know, you can't really get into all the nitty gritty mm -hmm. of like why we are doing this right now, why we think it's important and how it all works. Um, Cause you know, nobody wants to read about all that all the time, but right. uh, we did want to at least address the fact that like, we know it's a weird time to be raising funds. And we know that, you know, it's scary out there right now. And we're really hoping that um, if we're to able to succeed with these projects, we'll be able to help make it a little less scary for the people who contributed work to these collections, right. um, you know, by, by helping to support them in their work. And again, you know, helping helpful people is, is a, a real worthy, valuable thing to be doing. In addition to the fact that you're getting awesome art, art out of it. And yeah, and these are good. They're really good books. Not, <laughs> like they will provide hours of entertainment. Not everyone is in a bad place right now. Some people are True. just as well off as they were before, you know, before all this happened. And I've even talked to a few people that, believe it or not, are doing better now that they're working from home and saving a heck of a lot of money True. on commuting and eating out and are still making the same income. So I know that there's people out there that are doing even better than there were than they were before this struck. So you like gotta find them. Well, and that's how we find them is by people sharing and commenting on and liking what we're doing. Yeah, you know, even if you are in a place where you could support us, you can definitely be like, wow, I really like this thing about 
this anthology or that thing about Mr. Guy or this thing about both or about yeah. these people or if whatever. You, if you go you to know? the Kickstarter, there's a ton of art that you can look at from inside the books and you might find something that you think is really cool and you can totally, you know, share that image, like tell people about it or, you know, if there's a story that sounds really interesting, you know, you can post about it and tell the world that it sounds cool and maybe one of the people who sees your post will be one of those people who's doing well financially right now and wants to you know be able to financially yeah. support indie artists that's that would be great and then this book <laughs> will exist in the world these right. books and then you can always get them later when when things are a little better you know you can get them later because they will exist in the world because mm -hmm. you helped spread the word so yeah. yeah we're just relying on everyone to spread the word really yeah um, and that's just, you know, interaction, like keep an eye on our Facebook page, keep an eye on our individual Facebook, uh, feeds, what? Feed. <laughs> keep an eye on our Instagrams and our Twitters. And, you know, if you see something that seems interesting to you, share it, comment on it, like it, um, that really does help us a lot. Uh, another thing you can do is even if you don't think that you'll be able to pledge to the Kickstarter, when you go to the Kickstarter, there's a little button off to the right hand side under the back this project button Unless that says mobile. remind me um, and that just means that you're following the campaign so when it's got I think 48 hours left Kickstarter will send you like a reminder email and if you can pledge at that time awesome but even if you can't just having more people following the project sends the message to Kickstarter itself that our project is worth promoting so we may end up be, uh, being seen by more people who go to just kickstarter.com and are like looking around. Right. So that helps us a lot too. Um, really just like anything that you can do to boost this campaign in any little way really does help us hugely and means the world to us and all of the 35 other people who worked on these two projects. Cool. Well, um, you know, I think we're going to end it there and hopefully... Whoever didn't get to watch us live is watching us in the future. Hi, future people. Hi, future I hope the future is bright. So after you've addressed the elephant in the room, oh. does the elephant go away or do we get to hang out with the elephant now? No, I think it just has an address now. It can get mail. It can vote. So it it's can here with us? drive, get a license, you know. Yeah. Do you think that... I we think can... we'll probably have to pay extra... Um, oh, man. The pet rent. fee for pet an fee elephant for is going to be huge. Yeah. Worth it though, because then we'll have an elephant. Yeah, and if we ever have a peanut infestation, the elephant will take care of it. Maybe. Not not mice though. I hear they don't like mice. That's what Chal is for. Chal is the cat. <laughs> He's outside. All right, guys. Okay. I Thanks, love everybody. you all. Thank you all so much. We're going to end this live video here. This is my first time doing a live video to Facebook I think um, this is our first and time to on Instagram. Instagram live, so too, this is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Thanks a lot. All right. Take care, guys. Bye, everybody. I can't see.